Avatar. I see a little bit of things going around, around. Oh, it's like we're alive. Whoa. And it is really loud in my headset. That is awesome. We got two people on. One, two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's, 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 a, there's a three on. Yeah. Where we are here? Yeah. See things are. <clears throat> I see us there. I hear us in the earpiece. So. Um, and Barbara's on. Looks like we got uh, some brother some, Keith. Uh, I think we're. Uh, I think we're ready we're to go. We, we got Linda, on, Brad, yeah. Keith. Hey, Joy. Good to see uh -huh. you. Linda. Yay! 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 All right. <clears throat> how about we? Uh, how about we kick it off? Yeah. How, how about we, we are here? We don't want this can of worms. Hey. <laughs> What is going on, Joe? We got up bright and early today. Everything's running smooth as a bag of rocks. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you anyway. were so early today. Yeah, I was, I was early. I, was I actually got back to the shop surprised, surprised yes. and amazed. Yes. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, welcome once again to Smack and uh, What time is it, Joel? <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to rehearse. <laughs> We've been out for a whole week, yes. But, uh, <laughs> what time is it, Keith? It's time once again for Smack and Jack Live here in lovely Southern Chester County on a not so lovely morning, but that's to be expected okay. this time it's of year okay. uh, in this area. So, uh, but anyway, we got a great show for you. Yes, we do. Go. As uh, always. Yep. So, as always, grab a cup of coffee, sit back, relax, and we will be back in one moment. All right, here we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Slenderman. What is going on, uh, Brother Joel, I don't know. on this lovely Saturday? Oh, goodness, goodness. Uh, we, we, have a, we have a nice show coming up for you. Yeah, Thank do. you, everybody, for being with us today. Okay. Uh, yeah, so um, we'll, we'll come back to that beginning, right? So we're going to talk a little bit about thumbnail, uh, YouTube thumbnails. Okay. Um, and playlists. Okay. Uh, uh, just a tiny bit on how to create thumbnails. I'm not going to go into that in detail. Okay. Uh, using Canva. Um, what else we got after that, Keith? Oh, we, uh, oh, we, oh, we got our jokes. We got some yep. good jokes, good jokes. for you today. And then yes, we do. Uh, we got truth and lies. Truths and lies. We yeah. did that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, right. Do we do mine? I, I can't remember it, if we ever right did here. mine or not. Yeah, we did do mine. Did uh, we? we did yours a couple of weeks ago. I think we did yours, and then we did mine. And then yep. we, This is like a, every other uh, week kind of yeah. thing we're doing now. And, and then we're hopping to the trivia. Trivia. Everybody's trivia. <laughs> uh, facts of the day. And then we're going to come uh, do the truths and lies and the trivia answers together. As again. always, because we need to know what the, the, the correct responses need to right, be. Exactly. Right, exactly. And yeah. who wins the grand prizes. Uh, oh. Yeah. Do we have, do we have grand That was your... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, folks. Once again, there are no prizes. Oh, no. Because <laughs> that was uh, his job. That was my job. All right. Okay. And now we come around to the... Ever-popular birthday, birthday minute. minute. So, uh, okay. Anyway, before we start anything, what, what's going on? With the, uh, the, yeah. the Sixers. Now I had to explain to Keith today that the Sixers are a basketball team. Yes. Uh, who actually play in Philadelphia? The, the the official name is the Philadelphia 76ers. 76ers. And they yes. play basketball. Um, and they are okay. in the second round of the playoffs. And um, your namesake did pretty well yeah, the other day. Yeah, Joel Embiid. Yeah, and I uh, I never uh, realized that Joel Embiid's name was spelled just like mine, Joel, but he pronounces Joel. And uh, I forget where he's from. But I know other people from that part of the country, I, I believe in Africa, uh, an African state somewhere, yeah. African country, uh, they do pronounce Joel as Joel. Joel. So uh, I don't know why I was surprised to see that his name is spelled just like mine. But Remember, anyway. we had a great aunt who would call you Joel. Yes. Joel, are you going to play the piano? <laughs> so uh, right. anyway, so it's, 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 cool. it's quite fun. Yeah, right, so cool. we might have to do a little bit more uh, updates on how the Sixers are doing. Yes. Should they proceed uh, along the way? They're doing pretty good right now. So we're, we're hoping... Uh, Maybe we'll get in our parade. Yeah, wow. Wouldn't yeah. that be neat? Yeah, we'll have another day in school where, like, nobody's there. <laughs> <laughs> great. That's be great. Awesome. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so uh, uh, yeah, lawnmower. We had some more lawnmower, lawnmower incident yesterday. So, here's... It's uh, that time of year. 
So I get home from school yesterday. I knew it was supposed to rain like this weekend. So I thought, let me see if I can get my lawn done. So I, I pull out the one lawnmower. I'm pushing, pushing, um, and I get it snagged in a, um, <clears throat> in a shrubbery, and it breaks the spring. Okay, so that's the old lawnmower that we had down Kentmore. Okay, it's right. still running. Right, so I said, all right, I don't have time to fix that now. Let me pull out the other one that's halfway broken. Let me use that one. So, um, so I, what, I, what I do, folks, is I push you know, around trees, shrubs, embankments, and that and everything. So I do the pushing part first, right. and that takes me an hour and a half to almost two hours in this, you know, this time of year. And then I get on my tractor, and I do the rest of the property. Um, anyway, so this is what my uh, – let's see if I have that here. This is what my lawnmower from yesterday looks like. Um, oh no, oh, there it my, is. Look oh, at my that. Goodness. What happened there? Look at that. Looks like a ben uh, you're peeling a, I don't know, a, a, an orange <laughs> or something. A banana. Yeah. Um, so uh, I, I don't know. I, I mow over a lot of, uh, you know, bamboo stalks and that type it's of stuff. It's a good mulching uh, implement, actually. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, you know, I'm pushing along. First off, this mower is so beat. This is a Murray from Walmart. <laughs> don't buy one. This one's so beat that. Up here, um, the the handle part is breaking away from the deck. This so, is a Murray or the <clears throat> MTD? This is the Murray. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So the whole deck is built like with aluminum foil. Okay. So this area right here is breaking away so that I have to push it. I'm practically all bending down to my knees to push this thing. And then all of a sudden, I hear this little clank, clank. And I was like, man, what's that? I thought I hit a stone or something. So I started back up. Ten seconds later, I'm rapping. And sparks flying everywhere. And I'm like, whoa. Let's shut this thing down. That is a violation. <laughs> right? So um, so I open it, or I, I tip it up, and I say, well, this, this does not look good. This right. whole piece mm -hmm. here, probably not good. So I had yeah. some friends respond that I could probably just pull that off. And, and it will still work. Uh, it, it's not going to have that cycle going. Right, it's just know? trying to keep all the junk from behind in exactly, the wheels and all that. Yeah. But at so, this point, I don't think any, it's there. Anywho, yeah. wow. that was my little uh, issue yesterday while cutting my yard. So, you know, my quick um, get getting the lawn done quickly. Yes, well, it's never fast. And it ends up being longer than you expect. Trading back. So then I had to go back and fix the other lawnmower, fix that spring. <laughs> And then I finished cutting the grass. What, oh, a, what an epic grass cutting event <laughs> I had. So, <laughs> Very good. All right, Very let's good. move on. Why are we here today? Good question. A lot of people are asking that question. Why, why, are, we why are we here today? Well, because we have nothing better to do at 9 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. All right, let's talk about YouTube. Uh, all right, so oh, let's go back here for a second. But uh, in, in my learning and so forth, uh, YouTube thumbnails obviously are very important. And I knew that before, but I hadn't paid too much attention to it. And uh, YouTube playlists, okay? So you get some videos that are similar to each other and you put them into a playlist. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me show you what I've been doing for that. Let's go to uh, uh, creating uh, thumbnails first for your YouTube videos. And you can create them for, um, uh, you know, Facebook and so forth. So okay. here is um, here is Canva, and this is just a very simple thumbnail that I've created for that. Uh, you know, a little bit of yellow there, uh, yellow, black, yellow. Um, it's telling us about lead pages, Thrive leads. This is going on the uh, a video that we did a couple weeks ago, okay. talking about putting Thrive leads and lead pages into our um, uh, web, word, uh, WordPress website. Okay, so. Um, you know, you go on to YouTube and you just kind of check out a few things, see what other people are doing, and, you know, how to create thumbnails. And this is kind of some of the suggestions. It's very simple. You take a picture, you, you, you drag in some of these boxes here. I'm not going to go over how to do all this now, but that's, that's kind of what we came up to or came, came up with. Okay. And mm -hmm. if we go to the Smack and Jack uh, YouTube site, you yeah, can see that, that there's a little bit of congruency now. Mm -hmm. I can go back and start filling in some of these other ones here. Okay. And I created a play playlist with our YouTube or uh, Smack and Jack YouTube. Okay. YouTube. 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 Sorry. The, 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 the <laughs> is at the end of it. You know. YouTube. Next, next year I uh, have a goal <laughs> to learn how to talk. Um, all right. So now the other um, YouTube uh, YouTube channel that I have is this one here. I started this one a few years ago. This one's called Lenderman Shop. These are my videos here. I only have a few videos here. However, this is a very niche. Um, channel right so you can see this is about my John Deere uh, d105 I have some other things here running bamboo this is our smacking jack I just threw that up there 
uh, John Deere mulching kit, John Deere bagger, uh, changing the belt. But you see the views here um, mm -hmm. are, you know, like from a couple years ago, my bagger review, 202,000 views. Um, the, the tractor review, 134,000 views. I don't know if we can see all that. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. Let's see if I can move that over a little bit. Yeah, so the bagger review, um, the, the Murray <laughs> push mower, I'm going to have to do an update on that Yes, one, yeah. Because right? yeah. that was like the initial review. And that has the least amount of uh, views, too. It, yeah, and I, and I thought that would, 11,000 views, but, you know, that's a much smaller. You know, push mowers are pretty disposable anyway. Right. Y you know, yes. so... All right, so my point here is that um, I'm going to create some more thumbnails for these videos as well to okay. help just kind of catch the eye. Okay. The second point here is playlists. So I've created a playlist for this. So when you go and watch um, this first video, you'll see down here that there's a list of videos that pertain to that, that John Deere tractor, right? So I can go to the bagger review. Okay. And then it will go right into the bagger review update and then right into the mulching kit and so forth. So it will not oh. your suggested videos at the suggested videos after this video will take you to one of my next videos. Okay. Okay. So that's how you kind of start growing your YouTube views, um, your shares and so forth. Okay. Uh, to make sure if you have a playlist, it'll just take, keep the, the viewer on your page going to the next right. video, so on and so forth. Yeah. So. Yeah, good idea. Um, so that's good idea. that's a little bit of how to help grow your YouTube channel. Now, there's a whole bunch of other things to do with keywords and all that. We'll talk about that later. But uh, at least get your videos into a playlist and then start thinking about creating some custom um, uh, thumbnails. Okay. All right. Now, okay. I wanted to show you one other thing is that um, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was on here and I'm looking at... Can we all see this still? Uh, I'm yes, looking at... So. Yeah. Um, this review right here, okay, John Deere D105, and I'm looking at that thumbnail. See that tractor there, uh, D105, so whenever I move my cursor, it changes the thumbnail. But anyway, it's right there. Um, and I say, wow, there's my review. And I look at the, uh, I say, whoa, that's not my review, it's not me, it's Louis 007. Okay. okay. <laughs> However, if you go down here, look at the thumbnail for it's yours. John Deere D105 Lenderman Shop. Hey, wait a second. It's the exact same thumbnail. <laughs> I put mine up there four years ago. This guy just did his review a year ago. Wait a second. Guess what happened? Yeah, he stole it. He stole my thumbnail. <laughs> that He has my tractor in his video. That is my I, tractor, I my picture. <laughs> that tractor is well traveled. Yes, More I will say internet, so. Yeah. So what he did was took a screenshot of my video, and put that as a thumbnail on his video. Okay. And uh, and, and again, as I said before the show, imitation, copying is a form of flattery. Flattery. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. there you go, folks. You can even do that. As a matter of fact, last night I found somebody else's keywords. And I copied all their keywords and put it into my video. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I can do that. Yeah. Just like everybody else. Yeah, can, very right? good. Okay, so that's that's our, our learning curve for the day. Let's get back out of that particular. Yeah. Very good, Bill. Very good. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. Thank me later for all that, folks. All uh, right. Hello, uh, Jim and Daniel. Are yeah, who else we got on it? Last. Dan, hey, yeah. good morning, guys. Dan, um, Carly, so good to have you guys uh, back on today. First day off to stay. Hello. Thank you, Carly. Great to see you again. All right, moving on. Guess what time it is? Oh, Guess what time it is? Hold on, hold on. Uh, can everybody for, say Joke of Media? All right. Okay, so I hope everybody out there is ex as excited as we are. And so as the audience. Audience, audience. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, all right, so I have three <clears throat> okay. different dialogue jokes again today. Oh, okay. I thought they went pretty well last week, yeah, the so dialogue jokes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is between a teacher and a student. Okay. Okay. Teacher and student, um, and I thought that these these are all teacher student jokes. And I thought, oh, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, uh, Teacher Appreciation Week is actually coming up this oh, week. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. No yeah. kidding. So yeah. you can pat me on the back after the show. That's okay. Fine. Okay. All right. So joke number one. Teacher <laughs> says, James, do you use bad words? No, sir. Do you disobey your parents? Well, no, sir. Come now. You must do something wrong every once in a while. I tell lies. Ah, 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 I get it. 
<laughs> Anybody else get that? I, I thought no, we sir, no, sir. I tell lies. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So this is a teacher, um, and uh, a parent. Teacher and a parent. Okay. All right, Mrs. Jones. I asked you to come in to discuss Johnny's appearance. Why? What's wrong with his appearance? He hasn't made one in the classroom since September. <laughs> All right, no commenting on my, very good. Uh, on my voices. The, the, the little kid's voice and the mother's voice sound exactly the same. <laughs> That's why I was getting, getting kind of lost in the voice uh, and not sorry listening to the joke. All right, so the, the completely different joke now. Okay. All right, so. All right, this is a teacher and a student. This class is so noisy, I can't hear myself speak. Well, you aren't missing much. <laughs> Don't blame us. Do not very blame good, us. Very good. Very good. All right. Always good to have the jokes, Joel. True than lies? Uh, sure. Let's do we that. We ready for that? Okay. Now, again, what right. is that? We haven't done that for a couple of weeks. Okay. So, so um, be ready to type in. Okay. Get ready to type. Yep. No, not you can. Uh, 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 yeah, you can turn it. Uh, yeah. Oh. Turn it down a little bit. All right, get ready to type in. I'm going to tell you three statements. Okay. Two of them are true. One is false. <coughs> oh, okay. Two okay. are true. One is false. Um, and actually, these uh, these are not all about me. Okay. Two of them are about me. One of them is not. Okay. Okay? All right. So, truth number one. <laughs> At one point in my life, I was two degrees separated from... President Clinton. Wow. At one point in my life, I was two degrees separated from President Bill Clinton. Okay. Okay. Number two, Kool Aid used to be called Fruit Smack. Okay. Smack and Jack. Right, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, Fruit number smack. two, Kool Aid used to be called Fruit Smack. Okay. Okay. Number three, on June 29th, I, I will be riding in my third Media Hometown Cycling Classic. Oh. Okay, so number three. Now this is bicycling. Class, bicycling, yes. yeah. On uh, Number three. On June 29th, I will be riding in my third Media Hometown Cycling Classic. Okay. Okay, so number one was two degrees separated from Bill Clinton. Two, Kool-Aid used to be Fruit Smack. And three, I will be riding in my third Hometown Cycling Classic. Okay, right. and one of these is not right. We Correct. Figure so out you let us know which one is the lie. Which one is the lie? Okay? okay. And good, we will nice. come back to that in just a minute. Okay. All right. Good. Sounds good. Hey, it looks ready? like our jokes got some approval. Yeah. Yes. Not <laughs> complete and total approval, but some of the jokes. Some is by better some than nothing at all. Yes. Yes. We're approved. Yes. All right. Yes. Moving okay. on. Uh, let's go see what's uh, what kind of trivia. Trivia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going right. to uh, do the trivia, and then we're going to come back to that later, get the answer. So we got. Yep. Yep. Really got our audience working yeah. for today. It, it, audience involvement. It's actually there our audience is doing, if not more than we are. <laughs> That's right. Or if not. Uh, that is that is pretty much, much how things right. All right. All right. So, okay. Go. Okay. So trivia, right? Okay. I ready? believe this is your job, my friend. Do we have a uh, trivia music? No, we don't. Uh, well, I think I think the Jeopardy is the trivia music. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's go back again. We'll okay. do that one more time. One yes. More time. All right, uh, who did William Shakespeare marry when he was just 18? Hmm. I don't know if he was married at all. Hmm. Anyway, awarded posthumously in 2001, who is the only U.S. president to have received the Medal of Honor? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, all right. I don't know that either. Uh, at the time of his assassination, what play was Abraham Lincoln watching? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I know well, where he was. I can't yes, remember the play. Uh, it's it's just gone out of my head at the moment. Hold on, just gone out of my head at the moment. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> In 1972, the country of Ceylon changed its name to what? I think it's Ceylon. In 1972, the country of Ceylon changed its name to what? All right, I have no idea. Okay, uh, released in 1984, starring Patrick Swayze. Uh, was these things don't always kind of sound right. Uh, Released in 1984, starring Patrick Swayze, was the first movie to receive the PG-13 rating. Well, you know, we are playing the Jeopardy movie, or the sound, Jeopardy um, music, and they always have, like, you know, you have to answer with a question, and all right. that's why all these are all kind of, like, I think that is hard what is to read. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <All right. clears throat> uh, what musician played Cena? Is that what it's 
seen it in the Hunger Games film series. Okay, and I think that is it for Musician. today. Musician. Okay, right. Musician. Okay. okay, so who did William Shakespeare marry when he was just 18? Awarded posthumously in 2001, who is the only U.S. president to have received the Medal of Honor? At the time of his assassination, what play was Abraham Lincoln watching? In 1972, the country of Ceylon changed its name to what? Released in 1984, Patrick Swayze was the first movie, with Patrick Swayze, I guess we'll say, oh. was the first movie to receive a PG-13 rating, okay? And what musician played Cena, is that what I said? Cena, oh. in the Hunger Games film series, okay? Okay. All right, good, so, very good. Well, we so got guys, some, uh, type in your answers, oh, let us we know. Got some, yeah, we, we do got have some, some good yeah, responses very here. Very good, okay, okay. good. Yep. All right. Let's see what's. Uh, Let's see what we have here for our. We can turn down the facts. Turn the uh, yeah, yeah. Because this this we really need to hunker down and pay attention yeah. right. to this one. So, uh, this is folks. our facts of the day. We were right into our facts <laughs> of the day. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, for two hundred forty nine years, the tallest building in the world was Lincoln Cathedral. Yeah. In Lincolnshire, England. Yes. Oh, no kidding. So that. Um, I, I looked that up because I was very interested. It, uh, they built it, you know, part of it fell down. They built it, part of it burned down. They built wow, it again, rebuilt, yep. and then it used to be the tallest, but the spire that used to be the tallest um, actually fell. Okay, okay. And then it no longer. Okay, is. And they, they never rebuilt. They the never spire. rebuilt okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. New Zealand's two main islands, the North Island and the South Island, had no official names until 2009. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty weird. Right. right, North and South Dakota. People are like, well, that one up there, and then right. this one. You know, <laughs> and they just never got around to it. <clears throat> the world's smallest test tube was a diameter of ten thousand times narrower than a human hair. Wow. Yeah. Was, what do you do with that? Like, yeah. What do you, What do you put it? Can you imagine working with that for eight hours a day? Uh, yeah. And then you know, it's like <laughs> if if you had something to take to somebody, it's like, oh, I misplaced it. <laughs> right. You, know? you put it in your pocket. Yeah. It comes out in the lint filter. <laughs> Hopefully, right? All right, here we go. Oh, uh, well. Wembley Stadium in England has the most toilets of any one building. Uh, 2,000, I can't even say it, 2,618 <laughs> toilets. I'm just trying to think. It's. I should go there. That would be my mecca. Yeah. It's like, wow, right, what did wow, you do on your yeah. vacation? I went to half of the toilets in Wembley Stadium. <laughs> oh, that's great. <clears throat> Only the English. <coughs> During his first month in office, Donald Trump spent an estimated 18 hours on tweets. And that's estimated. A, I think that's a low. Estimate. I was going to say that's a little bit low. That's a conservative. Yeah, that number might have been there, the right? first day. Yeah. Anyway, 500 people are declared dead in the U.S. every month due to clerical er errors. Yeah, is that a shame? Wow. I wonder if how much uh, in life insurance payments go out at that. Point. Yeah, really. <laughs> you know? Hey, cash them in before they figure yeah, it out. Yeah, right. Uh, Stalin's granddaughter lives in Portland, Oregon. Where she sells antiques, vintage clothes, and scented candles. Yeah, so uh -huh. that's that's just an FYI. Like, yeah. if you're in Oregon and then you want to go to a, you know, a, a so shop. Her, his granddaughter traded in <clears throat> uh, what is that communism for uh, capitalism? I guess. Yeah. It's an it, well, she stayed with the isms anyway. Right. Right. <clears throat> anyway, uh, spray, spraying your clothes with vodka can make them smell better, since vodka kills odor causing bacteria on the spot. Yeah. And I, yes, I actually know people. I work nights at a liquor store, and some people buy that to uh, freshen up their clothes that they wear outside and things like that. Gotcha. You know, now, now do, you, do you spray it on there and then put it into the wash again, or do you spray it on and that's it? I think you spray it on and that's it. Really? You know, Let it's it just stuff that you're not going to, you know, that you're not wearing, you know, a suit, and you're not going to do that too. But yeah. Or clothes, maybe something like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a tough one. <laughs> we forgot to look Boy, this one up. Boy Bruce, right. Boy Bruce Miss. <laughs> right? Boar Bory Gump. Boar, David Boreanisness is a <laughs> scientific name for when your stomach growls. Huh. Yeah. No if, anybody knows how, if anybody knows how to pronounce that, please let us know. Yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is yeah. let us know. Type it's it in phonetically. It's another, right, it's another uh, trivia question. If you know right, how to right, pronounce right. that, just let us know. All right. Here we go. Uh, the Beatles album Revolver was almost named... After Geography, credit to Ringo, uh, to contrast with the Rolling Stones album, Aftermath. Yeah. Oh, get it? Aftermath, right. After Geography. After Geography. Uh, yeah, it doesn't flow quite as well. No. I'm glad they didn't name it that. Yeah. Yeah. Ringo, you naughty boy. All right, one more. Uh, wolf, uh, male wolf spiders were, will engage in threesomes during mating season to increase their chances uh, 
of to increase your chances of escaping cannibalism. That's a tough one to uh, swallow. Yeah, right? well, it's, it's, it's hard to read that with that big picture with there. With that big, the ugly spider wolf spider. And, yeah, so, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. want to get eaten. They know they're ugly, but they don't want to get eaten. Not one. So. All right, Very so good. Okay. we go back to, uh, yeah. let's do our facts, and then we'll go back okay. to truth and lies. Okay, yeah. 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 Let's, okay. Let's, well, let's, I'm, I'm sorry. Go back to sorry. truth. Trivia. <laughs> this is already here. We just did our facts. <laughs> Holy right. cow. This show is moving so smoothly, it's scaring us. Good morning, Debs. All right. See you again. Uh, hey, all right, who, who, all right. Uh, all right. go no, ahead. back to our trivia. Uh, yeah, let's we... do our trivia and then we'll do the truth and lies. Okay, yeah, trivia. okay. All right. Uh, who did William Shakespeare marry when he was just 18? Yeah, right, we let's have any take a look. responses here. You're looking at them. Uh, I see Anne Hathaway. I'm gonna say Jim. that's not right. Um, okay, 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 okay. All right, so all right. who did William Shakespeare <laughs> marry when he was just 18? <laughs> who Survey is it? says, oh. And you are right. Hathaway. Wow. Are you kidding me? That is Very awesome. good, Barbara. Barbara, awesome. Very good. Now, there's an actress called. Is, is this, her name is Anne Hathaway. I'm like, all for a couple when centuries When I saw Anne off. Hathaway, I did not even. Yeah, oh, that, my that, goodness. Okay, that's Very good. Right. Very that's good. Right. That's, man, now, out, just out of our league, dude. Yeah. Out of yeah. our league. Way out of our league. Very good. Man. All right. Mm -hmm. Awarded posthumously, po posthumously in 2001. Who's the only U.S. president to have received the Medal of Honor? Do we have any response on that uh, one? No, I don't think we do. All right. I, I, do you want to take a guess, Joel? Uh, Medal of Honor. I, I don't know. Here we go. Idea. Ah, Theodore Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Okay. Ah, yeah. Not yeah, about that. Yeah, that's yeah, a little yeah, bit of history we need to research. And he always did have good posture. <laughs> <laughs> At the time of his assassination, what play was Abraham Lincoln watching? Oh. Does anybody know? Somebody has to know this one. I know uh, it was. I know where the theater. Where uh, the theater Brad was. says Red Dawn. I hope that's. Not, <laughs> I hope that's not this answer. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Our American cousin. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That one hasn't surfaced again. No. They, they probably shut it down right <laughs> yeah. in the middle of that. All right. 1972. What country? Of, uh, of Ceylon changed its name to what? The country of Ceylon changed its name to what? Uh, right. and somebody said both Brad and uh, yeah, Barbara Sri says Lanka? Sri Lanka. And that I'm, sounds like, yeah. I'm going to go with Sri Lanka. Yeah. Oh, very Bravo. good. Very good. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Released in 1984, starring Patrick Swayze, was the first movie to receive a PG-13 rating. Is that what The Red Dawn's about? Oh, okay. I was going to say uh, Dirty Dancing. I was going to say Dirty Dancing. Okay, let's, let's, let's see, see here. here. Oh, Red Dawn. very good. Give it up, very man. Very good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Very good. Good job. Hi. Right. Okay. okay. What musician played uh, Cena in the Hunger Game film series? Anybody have something here? Uh, uh, see, yeah. now I was thinking Anne Hathaway. <laughs> 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 All right. Here we go. Let's find out. Musician. Lenny Kravitz. Oh. Oh, no Lenny kidding. Kravitz, yay! All right. Well, I did not know he was once again. Oh, no kidding. Very good. Once again, uh, you and I, Keith, have shown our ignorance and uh, ignorance in just about every field possible. Yes, everything. <laughs> and but our audience is doing very well. Our audience well. is yeah, doing very, very well. Very good. Very, very well good, guys. Today. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So <coughs> we are back to uh, truth and lies, right? Yes. Did we get any response for these? I think we stumped everybody on this. Just as uh, long as I uh, just so long everybody knows I'm on week three of my cold here. I was doing better last week than I'm doing this morning. So, but anyway, yeah, and you're you're hanging in there tough, dude. Yeah, I, I am a, a real right. trooper. Yes, right. yes. And notice <laughs> I'm standing just a little bit further away. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Practically, Whoa. Out of the there's picture. actually ten feet in between us today. We got <laughs> some kind of a we have some mirrors. Set yeah. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, truth so. and lies. Yeah. Truth I'm and lies. To see exactly. Now we do have an answer here. Uh, from Linda. So, I, and I'm not. Hey, what was? I, I have no idea. Well, no, that was great jokes, guys. No, uh, that Linda was, Brad Booth. That wasn't an answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Let's let's read them off again. Okay. And then number one was two. I have. I am. I was two degrees separated from President Bill Clinton. Okay. At some point in my life. Number two was Kool Aid used to be called Fruit Smack. Number three, on June 29th, I will be writing in my third Media Hometown Cycle Classic. All right, okay. I'm gonna say. Okay. All right, can I? So, all right, what what do you say? I'm I'm thinking. Uh, Kool Aid used to be called what was it? Smack and Jack, Fruit Smack, S Fruit Smack. That that's what I'm gonna say. You're gonna say uh, that one is a lie, right? And okay. we have two from I think Brad and Linda both said uh, the media, the rides. 
Yeah, yeah. Both days really? said the, the bicycle okay, ride. Okay, let's first find class. out. Okay. <clears throat> I was two degrees separated from President Bill Clinton when I was in college because my uh, theory teacher in college was Bill Clinton's band director. Wow. Yes. Oh, nice. So, okay. And that's, that's... his name was John Hilliard. Okay. And I believe that he was commissioned to uh, compose a piece for Clinton's inauguration. Wow. So, yes, my okay. teacher was Bill Clinton's band director. All right. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I that's never knew that. My, little, my yeah. little claim to uh, yeah. fame there, right? Yeah. All right. Number two, Kool-Aid used to be called Fruit Smack. The answer is correct. When it first oh. came out, they called it Fruit Smack. Whoa, no kidding. Yeah. yeah. I did not. I, I don't know when it was. It, back in the 70s, maybe. Okay. I, I didn't get a year on that, but uh, it used smack. to be called Fruit Smack. Okay. On June 29th, I will not be riding my bicycle in the media classic. So, Linda and Brad were correct. Oh! Yeah, I have, uh, <clears throat> I have never ridden that particular bike bicycling classic. I thought you had done it before. Uh, it was, they had it last year, uh, which was the first one. Okay. And I looked it up online and they, I don't see one coming up for this year. Okay. So it may have been just oh, last year. And that was okay. Oh, no so kidding. yeah, sorry. Very good. Uh, now I thought I thought you had done it. So anyway. Okay. Yeah, great. Yeah. Well, I stumped the, the co-host. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Stumped <laughs> Easily the stumped. So. Okay. Well, great, I think Keith, okay. that brings us to the to culmination. Our ever of our, popular. Yeah. We're kind of winding things minute. down here again. I'm sorry to do this to you, folks, but uh, you know. How about you keep talking there? Because yeah. we we were pretty. Um, we forgot about it last time, yeah. so uh, well, I think we're going to try not to forget about it this time. Wait, forget about what? What are you talking about? What you're doing there. We're getting the hats we out? Start, yeah. Uh, um, so we're going to do the birthday minute, right? Yeah. We, so. we have to get hats out. The one, we were so early. Keith was so early and so prepared today. Uh, where is the uh, birthday minute? Don't we have birthday? Oh, there we go. Okay, he's finding the music. Yes. I'm finding our hats. I come out of this specially carrying case uh, for uh, the birthday uh, minute hats. Yeah, well, hold on. Okay. Oh, I'm doing sound checks on air. All right, so you're going to take green because okay. I have a green shirt yes, on. That's yes. how we do these things. I have a green shirt on, so I'm not going to Oh, we normally do this before the show. This is why we're on. Yeah, right. So we normally get okay. these hats and things ready to go. We got everything else ready to go. All right, right. I think we are ready for the, let me find the birthday minute. Are we ready? I am Three, ready. Three, two, push the button. Go. And now it's time for the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Takes so much stop energy. smoking cigars. Yeah. Holy I, cow. I have to stop standing next to you. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> All right, what do we okay. got? Uh, okay, we got a couple we of have, uh, celebrities. Yeah, go over those celebrities today. first. Uh, uh, Randy Travis. Good old Randy Travis. Okay. Uh, country music singer. Yeah, I'm going to believe you. Huh? I'll believe uh, great, you. great music guy. Yeah. Big, big back in the 80s. Uh, he's turning. So actually, he was pretty young when he started. He's turning 59. Okay. Actually, he was born in 59. I'm sorry, turning 60 today. Maynard Ferguson. Maynard! Trumpet, Woo-hoo! Trumpet player. Maynard Ferguson. Uh, what did he do? He did the... He, um, did he compose it or did he play on, on the hit, His most famous uh, cover tune, I guess yeah. we'll say, was the uh, <clears throat> his performance of the Rocky theme. Okay. Um, he didn't write it, but he... He was the trumpet the, in that. It, well, he, he his band just played it again, like an actual. He was he didn't play in it. Oh, that was the that so was he the took hit that, that was on the radio. Okay. and then he you know he arranged it for his band to play. Right. Okay. And, I uh, I, I, and looking up a lot of re- reviews of that piece, uh, people were like, I don't know why they didn't use his version for the Rocky II and, and all that. Yeah. It, it was such an awesome yeah, version of that piece. Very good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Maynard for, Ferguson, yeah, for my this, my. Uh, uh, my hero, my hero, growing up. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. something I yep. had no idea was that old. Audrey Hepburn, uh, <laughs> the uh, first skinny girl in, in uh, modern uh, day. Uh, <laughs> okay, she, you know, most of the, the the actors back there were a little bit, you know, right. And yep. she was uh, yep. Breakfast at Tiffany's, very, very uh, pretty young lady okay. who's not with us anymore. Frankie Valley turns eighty five today. Wow. Yeah, Frankie wow. Valley okay. in the four C's. I didn't know he was still around. I think he's still performing. Born this day in 1934, and Eric Church, 
uh, more of a modern uh, country singer, uh, born this day in 1977. Okay, uh, so young guy. So, yeah, yeah, young, young guy. He's, he's, he's good. Yeah, got some good town. So, okay. what else we got going closer to home? All right. Well, have you got a little rhythm going yeah, on I over got, there, brother? I'm, I'm gonna uh, bring my rhythm up. Hold on. Okay. A second. We're going to say happy birthday to some friends here. All right. So today, starting today, Saturday, May fourth. Wow. May 4th, we say happy birthday to George. Oh, happy uh, birthday, happy George. birthday, George. Okay, going on to tomorrow, Cinco de Mayo. Oh. Now, what do you do for Cinco de Mayo? you do anything special? Oh, uh, I don't know. I might go get to Taco Bell. Taco Bell does a, you know, they're real... Uh, There's nothing that says Mexico than... Taco Bell, yes. Taco Bell. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have happy birthday to Amanda, Amy, Bill... And Nick, happy birthday, guys. Hope you have a great day tomorrow, Sunday the 5th. <clears throat> Monday the 6th, May 6th, we have Faith, Kate, and Larry. Yeah, happy birthday, happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, guys. Have a great day on Monday. Tuesday the 7th, we have Beth. Ooh. Yeah, happy birthday, happy birthday Beth. Beth. On Tuesday the 7th. Wednesday the 8th, we have <clears throat> happy birthday to Diana. Jennifer, Marco, and Nancy. All right. And we'll come back to the 8th in just a uh, minute. Oh, I see somebody out there. Yeah. yeah no all right. On Thursday the 9th, we have Numra and we have Rosie. Woo! Happy birthday, guys, on Thursday, May 9th. Friday the 10th, we have Amanda, Amanda, sorry, and Sean. Happy birthday, <laughs> Happy birthday guys. guys. Yeah, on Friday the 10th. What a great day to have a birthday. And then on Saturday, next Saturday, we have Randy. Okay. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Randy. Woo so, uh, we have one more special birthday coming up on May the 8th. Yes. yes. I wonder who that uh, is. Coming up on May the 8th, I will be the proud father of a... Uh, 15-year-old oh. daughter. Wow. Yeah. Sophia, my lovely daughter Sophia, the Happy older daughter, Sophia. Yeah. will be 15 years 15. old. 15. Yeah. Does she have her car picked out yet? Because it's only uh, a year away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, she has it all picked out. Yep. Yeah, it's a Toyota Tundra, I think, right? <laughs> right. Well, close. She wants a four-door Jeep. Oh, nice. Okay. So, yeah, very beautiful bright. cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, happy yeah. birthday to my uh, beautiful great. daughter, yeah. Sophia. She'll be 15 on wow. May the 8th. Happy Boy, birthday. Where does the time go, you know? I will tell you this. On May 8th, uh, 2004, it was one of the, the hottest days of May ever. It was yeah. like 95. If you look that up, it was, it was like 94, 95 degrees. I remember walking across that parking lot and... Uh, it was uh, hot. And that's yeah. something, huh? Yeah. Well, and the other thing was, at school, actually, this is actually the day before, May the 7th, at school, I got a call from, uh, you know, Stephanie saying that uh, she's going to the hospital. I was like, what? <laughs> so I just sat down with my uh, my nice lunch, because it was Teacher Appreciation Week. Oh, okay. Yeah, sat down yeah. with my nice lunch, today, and I'm like, what? I just, so I got, I got, I got oh, everything. I called up. the office, say, I got to go. Like, 20 hours later... <laughs> <laughs> you had your lunch. Sophia right? was bored. Yeah. Oh. I was like, oh, I didn't have the rush. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So happy birthday, everybody. That's great. Uh, we're going to get out of the birthday okay. minute. So the birthday minute outro uh, sounds like this. Uh, and that was the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Okay. Very good. So oh, that's good. Very good. Back yeah. to normal here. Hey, I thought so, it was a pretty good show today. Joe. Yeah. Things went, uh, things we went nice pretty audience. good. Thanks, like, thanks for you know what? If we can be pretty good. That's perfect for us. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that is borderline perfect because it's a lot better than being pretty bad. Bad, yes. Yeah. It's close because it goes from great, okay, good to pretty good. And then it goes right from there to, you know, like when your steaks are, those things are too. Right. But it is still better. Yep, yep. Yeah, so, it's, it's still better. Uh, thank you, everybody, well, for joining so, us yeah. today in part or in whole. Okay. Um, I, yeah. I, you know, it's, whether you can get on and watch our show for two for minutes a second, yes. for the entire show, yep. we, we appreciate you joining it's us. great uh, just to have you stop by for a second and say hello. So uh, yeah. we're going to do it next week? Are we going to be around our, next week? Our plan is to be back okay. next week. Um, the, the only little fly in the ointment is that my daughter Caroline has some of her field hockey games on Saturday mornings, which okay. is going on right now. Okay. Um, but I, I think we'll say yes. Okay. We'll be back. Okay. Next, so keep an eye out. We'll, we'll put time. an advertisement yep, up to as let you know what's going on. Yep. And uh, so uh, actually, uh, where the heck am I going here? Going to the outro. Oh. So the outro is the very last track that you see there. 
And I don't um, know where that is. I don't, I, I don't know the very last thing. So, And my cursor is not working so well. Anyway, well, thank you very much for stopping by, guys. And remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So <clears throat> be in touch to learn, laugh, and live at Smack and Jack. And we'll see you all again next week. Thanks very right, much, guys. Thanks, guys. See ya. Jack up your ego, smack death in the face of